Starlink competitor Amazon Leo just revealed the latest final production design of their top tier Ultra antenna. The Amazon Leo Ultra is for enterprise customers. It is the big boy. It is super fast, capable of download speeds over one gig. And they've just revealed some new information in a YouTube video and blog post that they published. So I wanted to make this video going over all the new information, all the new exciting stuff, including the claim that their new terminal is the fastest customer phased array antenna in production right now, even over Starlink. So let's jump right into it. My name is Colby. This is Dishy Tech, where we talk about all things low earth orbit satellite internet. Let's start off with this claim that they're the fastest production terminal or antenna in the world. And that's quite a claim by Amazon, but they've actually already proven it. So in my last video, if you missed that one, I talked about how Amazon showed off a speed test on speedtest.net of their ultra antenna, unknown price at this point, but we have to assume it'll cost thousands of dollars. Anyway, this ultra antenna clocked in at around 1200 megabits per second download. That is over a gig. And they didn't show off the upload speed. And I think they hid that for a very important reason. They wanted to kind of slow roll and market this thing as we get nearer and nearer to deployment. So Amazon recently unveiled that this thing, the Ultra is capable of over 400 megabits per second upload, which is just insane. So I wanted to talk about that first. If the Amazon Leo Ultra antenna is gonna be capable of 400 plus megabits per second on the upload, that is a massive advantage and a massive selling point that Amazon has over their competitor, Starlink. So Starlink terminals, the hardware isn't necessarily going to be limited in terms of upload, but their network is. So I routinely see around 30 to 60 megabits per second on my upload, no matter which service plan I'm on, whether it's the business or the residential plan. Even if Amazon could come in at double that, let's say 100 megabits per second upload consistently, that is a huge advantage and a massive selling point that they have for customers looking, to, looking into low Earth orbit satellite internet, maybe even trying to transition away from Starlink. So the, this claim that they've got the fastest phased array antenna for customers in the world is a big claim, but I think they've already backed it up. Like I'd mentioned before, they've already demonstrated a 1200 megabit per second download speed, something that Starlink isn't really capable of right now. So they're clearly trying to court some of these enterprise customers by offering some of their unique advantages compared to Starlink. And this is that first round of, let's just say punches thrown by Amazon, where they're claiming one gig down, 400 megabits per second up with their enterprise level equipment. And you might be asking yourself, how is that even possible? Well, it comes down to the size of the antenna. To put it plainly, the bigger the antenna, the more throughput that it's gonna be capable of. And Amazon's ultra antenna is massive, especially compared to Starlink's performance antenna, which is their enterprise grade hardware. So I wanted to give you a little bit of perspective on the size difference and the weight difference between Amazon Leo Ultra and Starlink's enterprise grade antenna, the Performance. So I have a Performance dish right here. This thing is $2,000. It's got this nice metal backing. It's a lot more durable than the standard antenna, but it's about the same size, 24 inches by about 15 and a half inches for the Starlink Performance dish. And it weighs about 12 pounds. Compare that to the Amazon Leo Ultra. And thanks for the tip in the last video about the cardboard. I've made this crudely constructed cardboard cutout. Let me just put it kind of in the background of this so you can see the size difference between the two. Amazon Leo Ultra is about 20 by 30 inches. It weighs 43 pounds compared to the Starlink Performance, which is like I said, about 24 by 15 inches or so. The other kind of shocking thing is the weight of these two terminals. So I have a plate here that I use in my weight room. That's why I'm in the weight room. This is 10 pounds. This kind of is close to what the Starlink performance dish weighs right here. This little plate, this right here is a 45 pound plate, massive. This is close to what the Amazon Leo Ultra weighs. 20 by 30 inches, 43 pounds for this thing. So you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. So the Ultra from Amazon is 60% larger than Starlink's performance antenna. So it makes sense that it's gonna be capable of higher performance. But the expected upload and download speeds for the Ultra antenna aren't the only new details that we learn. 
So Amazon published a YouTube video where they kind of unveil this Ultra antenna. It's got some new shots, some new video of the hardware itself, the final production design. And as you can see right here, it's got kind of some cool details. So it looks like user accessible screws holding this thing together, which is nice for serviceability. It's also got what appears to be some massive heat sink material on the underside to dissipate some of the heat that's gonna be generated by this massive antenna. And then what I think is most interesting, I don't know if you caught it if you watched the video, but they actually show the connections to the dish. So you can see we have a separate power and data connection, and that is very different from Starlink, which typically uses a combined PoE cable that sends power and data to the dish. So in Amazon's case, in the Ultra at least, it looks like we're gonna have separate power, separate data. If you notice on the top there, we've got a what looks to be a proprietary three pin DC power connector. That label is labeled uh, 48 volts DC. And then below that you have what looks to be an RJ45 port for the data connection. It looks to be recessed in there quite a bit. So there might be kind of a custom cable jacket on the ethernet port there. But the three pin separate power line is interesting. We don't know if there's any kind of a separate maybe splitter, so it's possible that they have a one cable solution for the installation of this dish and maybe the splitter is contained in a separate piece of equipment next to the dish. We don't know that yet, but as of right now, it looks to be separate power, separate data cables for the Ultra. And that's actually not too surprising to me to see a separate power cable because this thing is, remember, 60% larger than Starlink's performance dish. So we have to assume that it uses a lot more power as well. So the Starlink performance dish, Starlink says uses an average between 75 and 100 watts. And I know they could probably go up to 200 plus watts in certain conditions like in snowmelt mode. Amazon's antenna, the Ultra is going to use more than that, maybe three or 400 watts. We'll have to wait until we get some specs on the power usage, power consumption, but we have to assume it's going to be higher than what Amazon is comfortable sending over a PoE ethernet cable. So I think that's why they decided to do a two cable solution, sending 48 volts DC to power the antenna and then a separate cable for data. The Ultra also looks to have a modular mounting system. So we've seen it kind of with a, a base that we have to assume is for like flat roofs or flat installations, but then it looks like it has a pipe, some kind of pipe adapter that will be able to adapt to many kinds of third-party mounts. And then who knows, maybe they'll manufacture some mounts on their own like Starlink does. The new specs and info on the Amazon Leo Ultra antenna aren't the only news that I have to share with you. Amazon is also launching a preview program for early pilot customers of their service. So in my last video, I talked about the different phases that Amazon is deploying their satellites in. The first phase, they're calling phase one, is 578 satellites. That's what they say is needed to have full, you know, global continuous coverage of their system for their first customers. But it looks like Amazon is actually rolling out and starting to pilot service with a limited number of enterprise customers before that. They're announcing this new Amazon Leo preview program, giving access to a few enterprise customers. They're gonna send them either a pro model or an ultra model antenna and allow them to try out the service uh, gathering test data and customer feedback in the process. Again, a very limited number of customers. This is a very small pilot program, it looks like, but the important information and the interesting thing is that it looks like they're gonna be rolling, the, rolling this out imminently anytime in the next few months before they reach that phase one deployment goal. After their next satellite launch, which is scheduled for December 15th, 2025, they're gonna have around 180 satellites deployed. And apparently they think that's enough to at least start getting some customers online. They're targeting North America and the UK, mainly areas in the Northern Hemisphere for these first pilot customers, but they've already announced some of their contracts, some of their partners that they're working with, including uh, Crane Logistics, Hunt Energy, and some others that you can read in a blog post that Amazon shared that I'll put in the link below. But I found this pilot program super interesting because it means that we are super close to having an actual Starlink competitor where customers can actually pick and choose between Starlink and between Amazon, at least those big enterprise customers. But even though it's baby steps, even though you and I won't have access to this pilot program, every step that we take forward is another step closer to that day where you and me can go out and buy an Amazon Leo Pro or Nano or Ultra and go out and have an alternative to Starlink. And like I said in the last video, competition is always good. So exciting news there about the 
Amazon Leo pilot program. One other interesting detail about the preview pilot program is that they're gonna be shipping out not only the ultra antennas, but also the pro level. So the pro level antenna is like their mid tier. It's their everyday dish. It is useful for not only home internet customers or travel, recreational travel customers, but also small businesses and maybe other kinds of businesses that don't need super high throughput. Amazon says that the Pro Terminal is capable of around 400 megabits per second down. We don't know the upload yet. They haven't released that information, but that should be coming pretty shortly. So it's interesting that two out of their three planned antennas are already gonna be coming online, have entered final production, and are gonna be testing in the real world with real customers within the next few months, maybe three to six months. It seems like ever since Amazon rebranded from Project Kuiper to Amazon Leo that they've really stepped up their marketing game and they're attracting media attention, especially with statements like they have the fastest production customer phased array antenna in the world, even beating out the existing service of Starlink. So Amazon is clearly getting ready to launch their services. They're trying to get media attention, trying to get some viral marketing going by making these statements and showing off and revealing some of their hardware. Super exciting for me as a content creator, somebody that covers low earth orbit satellite internet, but also as a customer, somebody that wants to try out their services and their hardware, not only for you guys as you know content and videos, but also for me personally. So one of the biggest complaints that I have with Starlink is the slow upload speeds. So typically on my connection with the standard terminal and with the residential plan, I can get anywhere from 30 to 40 megabits per second upload. I've seen speed tests in the 60-ish range on the upload, but I never really get that in the real world. And as a content creator that uploads a lot to YouTube, I have these large files, anywhere between five and 15 gigabytes that need to be uploaded to YouTube before you guys can watch them. And sometimes it takes two or three hours to actually upload a video on my Starlink connection because of that limited upload speeds. So while I can get great download speeds of 400 to 500 megabits per second sometimes, that really doesn't matter to me as much as the upload speed. So if Amazon can deliver even half of what they're claimed 400 megabits per second, I'm gonna be super excited to try it out. Uh, that will save me a lot of time and get my videos out to you faster. And I know a lot of other businesses and other professionals would be interested in that too, especially if you're on Starlink right now, dealing with those limited upload speeds. So now I'll turn it over to you in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this claim, 400 megabits per second upload. That is insane. That's gonna be really impressive if, if it turns out to be true in the real world. Amazon, if you're watching this, I really think you should post a video like you did for your download speed test. Post a video of the upload speed test. Show us that it's capable of 400 or 500 megabits per second to upload. I think that'll get people super excited about your service. And obviously there's the caveat that Amazon is doing this on a completely unloaded network. There are no customers online right now, so they are under perfect conditions. You know, The only one using that satellite connection, so of course they're gonna get the best possible speeds. But nevertheless, they're demonstrating impressive performance, something that Starlink is not able to compete with right now. Let's just see how it works out in the real world. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, really appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss any of the future Amazon Leo updates, and I'll see you in the next video.